Scheduling a training session begins by creating the patterns on which it will be supported. The subsession model defines a single training block with specific characteristics. There are different types, and all of them are identified with a univocal name. Load is used to define subsessions with power or heart rate thresholds that must be observed for the entire duration indicated. The second type is recovery, which consists in a pause, stopped or slightly moving, recommended in order to rest at the end of a particularly intensive block. The last type is free, which is similar to load, but this time without any indication about the thresholds to be observed thus giving the user the possibility of setting the rhythm considered to be more appropriate at that time. Once the subsession models have been created, we move on to the session model, which is also identified with a univocal name and made up of a combination of the first ones. Notice that each single subsession can be modified at this time, perhaps reducing their duration so that they are better integrated in the training session that is being defined. Once the session model has also been completed, it just has to be scheduled in the calendar. Simply select it and indicate the foreseen execution date. When you want to execute it, no more than 12 hours before the foreseen time, you will be able to select it from the specific screen.